subscribe to my channel for latest videos. Septic arthritis. Septic arthritis is a rare and serious condition, also known as infectious arthritis. It happens when an infection spreads to one or more of your joints and causes pain and inflammation. The inflammation is in the surface of the cartilage, a type of connective tissue that lines your joint and the synovial fluid that lubricates your joints. In the world of medicine, arthritis covers any type of joint inflammation. There are several different kinds of arthritis, including osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, psoriatic arthritis, gout. Symptoms of septic arthritis can include experiencing pain and tenderness in your affected joint, having swelling and warmth at your affected joint, limited range of motion of your affected joint, not wanting to use or move your affected joint, having a fever. Causes Septic arthritis is caused by an infection. It can be from bacteria, fungus, mycobacteria, a virus or other pathogens. Septic arthritis can develop when an infection, such as a skin infection or urinary tract infection, and then spreads through your bloodstream to a joint. More specifically, the following organisms can cause septic arthritis. Staphylococcus aureus. Methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus, MRSA. Groups A and B Streptococci. Neisseria gonorrhoeae. Neisseria meningotides, meningococcus. Staphylococcus aureus, a type of bacteria, is the most common cause of septic arthritis in both children and adults. Approximately 37% to 56% of septic arthritis cases are caused by Staphylococcus aureus. Tests for diagnose include synovial fluid aspiration. Your healthcare provider may withdraw fluid from your affected joint with a fine needle to check it for bacteria. This is known as aspiration. Blood tests. Your provider may have you undergo blood tests to see if your body's immune system is responding to an infection and or to rule out other possible issues. X-rays. X-rays use radiation to take images of your bones to show widened joint spaces and bulging of the soft tissues, which can be signs of septic arthritis. Ultrasound. An ultrasound can help your provider see how swollen your joint is. MRI. Detailed images of your organs and bones to detect early cases of septic arthritis. Treatment. The following treatments are used for septic arthritis. Antibiotics. All cases of septic arthritis need to be treated with antibiotics. Your healthcare provider may give you antibiotics through an IV and or in pill form. Surgery. Removal of the inflamed tissue, surgical debridement, and IV, intravenous, antibiotics are necessary in most cases. Joint fluid drainage. Your provider may drain, aspirate, fluid from your joint using a fine needle. They may have to do this more than once as you recover. Physical therapy. You will likely need physical therapy to restore function in your joint and prevent the muscles around your joint from weakening. Please like and share, and subscribe my channel for latest videos.